guys what's up welcome again to another video and to all the new subscribers thank you for supporting the channel and if you haven't yet subscribed please do today i'm going to show you my adidas middle of the year 2018 collection so let's start with adidas nisa i bought this last week it's a new release they have the green red and pink the pink is for women for me it's not worth it for 70 dollars and if you want this kind of style or model, just go for the Chuck Taylors. It's more worth it, it's more comfortable, and it has better materials. Compared to this, check out my review and the comparison on the Sneaker Battle playlist. So, Adidas Nisa, $70, not worth it. This d -Rop, one of the loudest, um, one of the loudest release this year, and for me, it, this is not worth it for a hundred dollars. Everything about this is poor. You have poor midsole, poor out, uh, poor, poor upper body. It's not comfortable, and and the design is not that appealing and there's a there's a parlay coming this saturday i think uh, a deer up parlay this saturday so i don't recommend this buying for a hundred dollars this is not worth it because the overall materials is poor this the adidas eqt support mid and this is also part of the dragon ball collab and around 160 it's not worth it because you have a nice prime net i love the prime net material of this one but overall this is too expensive for a non-boost model for me if you're going to if Adidas will make a non-boost model, they must be sure that the midsole will be comfortable, light, and flexible. So it will make sense with the price value. 160, it's not worth it for that. But if you like it, if you like the overall idea, go buy it. This is the Adidas Arkine and this is my wife's pair. I really like the design of this. It's unique and it's different compared to the NMD. And the boost midsole is comfortable. It's and it's it's flexible as you can see. It's it's like a modern running lifestyle shoe for 150 $150, 7,500 pesos, totally worth it. And if you want a gift to your wife, to your girlfriend, this is a great choice. Next. This is the NMD United Aro and Sons collab $220 I'm totally disappointed because I didn't know that this was just cloth linen fi fabric for me it's not worth it but I really like the overall color of this one it's unique it's gray it's dark gray and NMD R2 is in my experience, it's much more comfortable compared to any of the other ones. Next, 
speaking of the NMDR one MDR1, $130, totally worth it. Um, they changed the the knit the knit material construction and it's much more better compared to the generation 2017 generation MDR1. And I like this colorway, I love all the green, so this is an NMD R1 night cargo. I got this pure boost Chinese New Year edition on sale and it's uh, it's not I think it's, it's sold out in the Adidas app store because it's also sale uh, at around 150 it's not that bad for an all-around shoe you can use it in the gym running walking uh, lifestyle but I hope they can improve the upper they can improve the burrito town i like the colorway for me this is one of the best aggressive colors of the pure boost normally it has a one shade one of the best colorways the oreo the first one that was released last 2017 i can't remember so this is it pure boost cny edition next ultra boost parlay parley parley um, I really like this hill cup it's unique I love the design and this one is actually intact it holds your heel not properly too hard compared to the normal hill cap looking at the, the photos of this you will think that this is dark but when you hold it it's bluish an ocean bluish style and this is a nice pair it's around $200 so do this parlay check out my review wife's pair and this is uh, it's like a, another version of the dark mocha carbon this is the carbon Adidas ultra boost carbon it's a nice colorway for women if they if for example your wife or your girlfriend loves a dark colorway this is a nice One of my favorite this is the cookies and cream so you have this is not black it's, it's a bit grayish dark grayish boost and one of but one of my problems the white cage it's dirt magnet and overall this is a nice pair so it's around 200 redesign because it looks like it, the diff, the 1.0 has a different kind of kind of V V line but but they're but they are correct because this part is actually 
a 1.0 so next time I will do my research <laughs> so yes one of the most favorite collaboration this year ultra boost undefeated check out my review so this is it One of my favorite is the Adidas AM4 London that I pick up on the Manila Sneaker Expo. This is my first time to pay resell, and I, for me, this is worth it because this is more more limited compared to the ones that was out in the Adidas app. So this is it, the AM4 London. Check my review. So this is it guys, thank you guys for watching the video, I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit that like button and please do subscribe. See you guys on another video.